So uh, Profile T is building uh, on uh, Profile S, which is about uh, streaming. So uh, T comes after S, <laughs> so it's a follow-up profile. So the main focus of the whole profile is streaming or video. Mm -hmm. And uh, also in Profile S we had audio. What's new in, in Profile T is we will also have uh, bi-directional audio, so it's uh, possible to stream in both directions. And um, we're also adding a lot of features that's been asked for by user members to include. So we will have standardized events for a, a lot of things that's been asked for, for motion detection, uh, digital inputs, relay outputs, uh, also some analytics events. H.265 is coming as a, as a new encoding format and uh, the old media service which is part of Profile S doesn't support this encoding format. So, uh, and a lot of companies have um, are developing uh, support for this, so that's why uh, we have done the Media 2 service which supports uh, any type of encoding format and then when we finished with that we did the new Profile T to include that, that service. Well, it introduces the Media 2 service which is pretty important as I said which is a future proof. You can, as a company, also add other types of encoding. So if you are uh, using some other encoding than H.264, H.265, like VP9 or something else, also other, other audio encodings, it's possible to get uh, to use them uh, without any modifications of the of the. Media, sir, media to service. Uh, we are targeting right now the end of this year. Uh, we're going to do a release candidate in, uh, in July. Uh, so we're working very hard right now to get all the test specifications ready and test tools to so that um, you will be able to declare conformance by the end of this year.